Hello, hello, everybody out there. I hope you're ready for another math question, because we're coming at you with question number seven on the 2002 Fairmath paper. A rectangle is divided into four smaller rectangles, as we've got shown here. The areas of three of these rectangles are 6, 15, and 25, as shown. The area of this shaded rectangle over here is... Okay. So... I don't, uh, so if we're trying to do the area of a shaded rectangle, I guess the best thing to do anytime we want to compute the area of a rectangle is to get its dimensions. That's the first thing that jumps out at me, but I can't quite tell what the dimensions are here. Now, if you play around with it, if you do it in your head, you, if you start with this 6, you might guess that uh, with this 6, it's a 3 by 2. And then putting that 3 with that 15, that'll make it this uh, 15 a, a 3 by 5. Then this 25 will be a 5 by 5. And so this shaded area will be a 2 by 5. And that'll give you 2 times 5 is 10. So I'm guessing the answer is E. And if you could do that in your head, that's great. But uh, maybe we need to show a little work. Maybe we can't do this stuff in our head. Or maybe our initial way of factoring with 2 and 3 doesn't actually work out nicely. That's possible. That's certainly possible. I think, however, no matter which way we factor it, it'll all be all right. So, what uh, oh. What we're going to do is we're going to draw our picture. And uh, I'm going to give names to the dimensions I want. We have 6 up here, we have 15, we have 25, and we have shaded region. So I'm going to give uh, some names here. I'm going to say that the shaded region is A by B. Okay. So if I can work out what A times B is, I'll be all set. Now I notice that we have a B up here as part of the 6, which means this length up here is going to be 6 divided by B. Okay. So that means that we have a 6 divided by a b here, and I need to multiply it with something to get 15. So 15 divided by 6 divided by b, that should be 15b over 6. So that should be 5 over 2b, and that will be this side length here, 5 over 2b. But that means that it's also a side length here, 5 over 2b, and then I should be able to get, uh, I should be able to work out what a is in terms of b. So this is going to be a, but a has got to be 25 over 5 divided by 2b. So that's 25, and we'll bring the 2 up here, over 5b. So 5 goes away, and we'll be left with 10 over B. So the shaded region is A times B, but A is 10 over B, and wouldn't you know it, the Bs cancel out. And we get an answer of 10. The shaded area is 10. I think we said that that was E. It is. So here we didn't assume anything. We didn't assign uh, any numbers. We didn't make wild, wild guesses. We just took an A and a B. We said that we want to find the product. And we used the other numbers, the fact that these are rectangles, to work out A in terms of B. The Bs cancel it out beautifully. And so if I had started with B as 1, well, I would have worked out that uh, A is 10. I would be able to work out the dimensions everywhere else as well. And I'd still get a 6 and a 15 and a 25. Or I could have started with B is 2 or B is 3. Or really anything that I want. So I think that's kind of nice. The, the actual values of A and B don't matter. You're always going to get 10 with this setup. So that does it for question number 7. In the next video, we're going to take a look at question number 8. And I'll see you then.